German goulash is a unique soup with tender chunks of beef, and by using the Instant Pot, it's ready way faster than Oma used to make it. Aloha, friends, and welcome to Eating Richly. If you're new here, I'm Diana Johnson, a cooking instructor who loves connecting with people through food, and today I'm showing you how easy it is to make hearty, flavorful German goulash. Most Americans think of goulash as being made with ground beef, but German goulash actually uses chunks of meat. Think more of a beef stew but with a thin soup-like broth that is so layered with flavor your kids will literally slurp up every last drop. The best part is that instead of cooking it for three hours on the stove, we're gonna have it ready in about an hour thanks to the Instant Pot. So let's get cooking because whether you're cooking with someone, for someone, or for yourself, cooking time is connecting time. You're going to start with two pounds of lean beef roast cut into chunks. You can use stew meat or cut it up yourself, but toss it with a teaspoon of salt and let it set while you prep your other ingredients. You can dice your onions by hand like I do in the video, but if you have a food processor, this will save you so much time because you're gonna need to chop up three large onions. You'll also need to peel two carrots, slice them into sticks, and chop them into half-inch pieces. At this point, you can also mince three large cloves of garlic, but I just used a couple teaspoons from the jar because this is one of those recipes where it isn't that noticeable. Heat two tablespoons of avocado oil or olive oil in the Instant Pot on the saute setting. Then add half of the beef at a time and cook for a few minutes to get some nice brown bits which are called caramelization and add that first layer of flavor. Pull your beef from the pot and set it aside. Then add a little more oil if your beef was super lean like mine and there just isn't much left. Next you're going to dump in those onions and stir them up scraping those brown bits off the bottom of the pot. Cook the onions for about five minutes, stirring occasionally until they're soft and starting to darken a little. Then sprinkle in one and a half tablespoons of sweet Hungarian paprika. Dump in that minced garlic, stir it up, and let it cook one more minute. Next, we're adding in a cup of red wine, a cup of beef broth, and a bottle of German lager or Pilsner beer. Now add two tablespoons of tomato paste and one tablespoon of beef better than bouillon. Just trust me on this one, my German friends swear by it. Sprinkle in a teaspoon of dried caraway. This is an essential ingredient, so don't skip it. Then a half a teaspoon of dried thyme and drop in three dried bay leaves. Then we're going to add the zest of one lemon. See how many flavors are going in here? It's crazy. It's so good. We're also going to add three sprigs of fresh oregano and a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. Then come those chopped carrot and that beautifully browned beef. Stir it up, then put on the lid, set the steam valve to sealing, hit cancel, then the meat stew button, and let it cook for 35 minutes. While the Instant Pot does need a little additional time to get up to pressure, everything inside is already hot, so it doesn't take very long. When the timer goes off, hit cancel, and at this point, I suggest at least 10 minutes of natural release for the steam, but you can do a quick release if your family is hangry. Make sure to pull out those bay leaves and the oregano stems before serving. You can eat the goulash as is or pour it over cooked potatoes or noodles. My kids prefer macaroni noodles because that delicious broth fills each noodle. I also like topping the German goulash with a bit of fresh parsley for some color and that final layer of flavor. My family greatly prefers German goulash to any other kind of beef stew, and I'm pretty sure your family will agree. Ah, there's so much sweetness from the onions and carrots, brightness from the lemon zest, acidity from the red wine vinegar. The meat is fall apart tender, and there's that unique flavor of caraway plus all the other wonderful herbs. There's just nothing else like it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you've tried the recipe. Just remember that whether it's with me in the comments or out in the world, you can be real and be kind. If you want more of a dump and go Instant Pot soup, give my taco soup recipe a try. 
and I'll see you in the next video. <sighs> One down, three to go.